Mac McLeod here from the Royal Callwood Golf Club. Uh, I'm just doing a little wedge testing here, and I got the new wedges here, the SM7, and then last year's SM6. Um, I couldn't believe how much more it spun. So I went out and got TrackMan, and uh, I just hit a couple pitches, and it pretty much doubled uh, on this 20-yard little pitch, uh, and I want to show you what I saw. I'm just greenside on a tight lie, uphill lie. The spin rates usually are accelerated, but uh, here's the old SM6. I hit that one a little chunky. 2,000 RPMs. Oh, a little bit chunky again. Uh, 1,600 RPMs. Let's see if I can get a clean strike here. Not better. Hit a little further, so spin rates might go up 2,200 RPMs. So you might be able to see it. That's my last one, 2,271. Here's the brand new wedge right out of the box, SM7. Still, again, only 20 yards. Uh, hit that one pretty flush. 3,300. So, so far, it's 1,100 RPMs faster than my old um, two-year-old. Hit that one a little softer. 3,000 RPMs. And I barely played in the last couple years. These wedges are still kind of new, the old ones. Oops, hit that one a little fat. 1,200 RPMs. So contact is, is important, of course. My whole point here is that this wedge is still kind of new. And when I go through the golf clubs in our back shop, this club, I mean, some some wedges are, um, you know, 5, 10, 15 years old. And they look a lot worse than this one that's only two years. This is still a good-looking wedge in my mind. But the spin rates were... Uh, 1500 less on such a on a on a 20 yard little pitch it just blew my mind so get some new wedges if you want some more spin just a quick note and an edit uh, I'm only 10 yards the pin I was doing another test for carry in total uh, so carry yardage is only going to be six seven eight yards with uh, 10 yards to the pin so those spin rates aren't for 20 yard pitches they're for 10 okay more spin rate data on this 10 yard pitch I went back and grabbed my 52 and my 60 and hit all of them and something I noticed so for averages 52 was giving me around 2200 spin on good shots uh, the 56 I was getting 2800 on average and then the 60 it went down I know this isn't new news uh, but just a reminder once you once you get too much loft um, uh, I know those golf nerds will know the exact loft, but it becomes more of a shearing. Like, so if you can imagine there needs to be a, a little amount of loft to create enough friction. If it's excessively lofted, it, it becomes a shearing thing. You don't get the friction. So, uh, and then even with open, um, open face, here's an open face 60. Uh, no number. But it, it was about the same. It, it, sometimes it would go way less depending on how, oh, it came up, 1600. So it went down again. Just a note, something you need to know. Um, if we took this even further, uh, this I put on carry yardages and total yardages. So we want spin to make the ball stop faster so we're in control, but understand that Depending what's what, what what you're facing with, sometimes trajectory might be the answer. Uh, when I did an open faced 60 to this 10 yard pitch, I had eight yards carry and 10 yards total, so it stopped in two yards. When I do square faced ones, yes, the spin rate goes up, but I'm carrying it at seven and rolling it to 10. So my stoppage power eventually needs to be trajectory. It's not always spin. Hope that made sense. Go get them this summer.